All right, <laughs> what's up, gang? Uh, we're back. We're talking to the camera once again with nothing to do. Uh, topic for today: forensics. Whatever the fuck that word means. I blood. I blood. Life's good. That's my profile. Holy crap, man. We're gonna go on YouTube because, hold up. Who said we just had to stay on YouTube? Now this, that don't mean this. My name is Weller, hi. Um, and I present to you now, the intro to this is like insane. What the heck, man? Bro. Minecraft. If you've been harassed at work or unfairly fired, we may be able to help. Learn more at Fighting for Fairness. We don't do all of that. I don't know who any of these guys are. Who are these people? Red beans and rice. 35 minutes ago. Okay, so it kind of looks like she's got that, uh, that guac on the plate. Cuban style meats. That's like black beans and white rice. They used to serve that in school. Avocado? I'm gonna fuck them up with the thumbs up. I'm gonna like the, the video. I, mean, I personally don't like my things. It's just someone eating. Don't get on me about that. I like to talk and then eat a little bit and then talk. Mukbangs, they're just eating the entire time. It's actually kind of concerning. Personally, couldn't be able to like consume any amount of food that they have. I'd probably see that. I'd want to eat it. Like I definitely want to like just shove it down. 1,000 ways to die taught me not to do that. There was this one girl in a hotel room. She ate so much food that her stomach exploded. Especially drinking too much, you can bloat yourself and drown yourself, I think. And if someone has heard of it, let me know. Let me know, let me know in the comments. Oh, she added the sriracha? You slathered that. Why do people like this? Mukbangs aren't that bad though. I would love to like, eat to a mukbang, but like, the ASMR aspect. I don't want to hear you eaty. Ugh. What is this? What do you mean by that? Of course it's a boxing movie. I was raised on beans and rice. Some by Rihanna really just sticks out, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, Rihanna. Come pull up on me. Nah, no, no, no. So let's go with Rihanna. Let's go with Rihanna. Right. Let's just hit up Rihanna. Let's see what Rihanna doing tonight. Let's hit up Rihanna. If you need a, um, if you need Grammarly while you're in college, you probably won't pass college. That's if you need it. Kids that don't really need it, but like kind of rely off it just so that they can get like correct correct answers is okay but if you're using it and have no idea what the fuck a punctuation is <laughs> don't don't go to college It was running up my spine. It's a crime. It's an artificial crime. It's a crime. It was running up my spine. It's a crime. I was running up his mind. 
uh, yeah, hitting up shorty line, uh, yeah, she a bitch, I ain't like it, yeah, now I'm hitting up her line, running up her mind, get up the time, whoa, and now I'm in the bed, hitting up the bitch with the big bread, hey. With the big forehead, she got me some big ass, good ass, loppy toppy head. And now I'm geeking off that gig. Geeking off that gag. Geeking off that yak. I'm geeking off the pack that the pussy could get me whacked up. And now I'm in the bed, in the snack up. No, I'm in the pantry, fucking up the cancers. Whoa, whoa, got kept the sticks for a reason. Smoking for a little, little stress reliever. Hey, what you talking to me about is kinda crazy. I'm not listening to you about what you just said. And gonna carry on with my day. And it's great, and you don't, can't match it. Hey, my fit is fire, I know. And what you can explain is tired. Your mind, it's weak, exhausted is what I call a dumb mind. Very insecure. You're getting nowhere and now it's a big problem to you and mine. Keep that in mind. Shit, the poems, they just keep on coming out, they're not going. The running back at Godspeed, flash and Baron Alley, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, forensics attitude, what you telling me about, hey, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, forensics on his mind, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, he find you fingertips, that's what he's doing, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, a forensic attitude, find you, I do, find you in the midst of a war, crime is what he wants to do, pay him ten thousand dollars, he'll get you, crap you across all the fuck borders, then, after that, he'll hide you, and then, the government's coming after you, holy shit, that's crazy, what an attitude, he's got an attitude, he's got an attitude, his name is Barry Allen, he's got an attitude, Artificial crime, artificial crime in my mind, in my mind is climbing high, in my mind, artificial crime up in my spine, uh, I crack my neck just for fun, it gets me real blasted, yo, no, I crack my neck just for fun, it gives me a fun time now, I'm traveling through time, uh, that would be crazy, I mean, I don't, I don't know if any of that would be making it in. Okay. Let's talk about your day real quick. Let's get all clo close up and personal. So it's early in the morning. I usually do these at night, obviously, because there's not light. There's a window like right there. This time, instead of posting at like five o'clock in the morning, it's going to be late at night. It's going to be, it's not going to be late at night, but like at night to where you guys could watch it comfortably i kind of feel like the existence of everybody is pretty pretty important for everybody here's my theory one person will come into and come in come in and do and do their thing right and once they meet another person what if that's that's it so everybody has their quest or their fate that's like their whole story they give you a path to go and that's like your inevitable path here are you and then get in like Imagine this is me. You like helped me out in some way. You picked up my pencil or you got me coffee. That was your last thing that you'd ever do. That would be like same thing with everything. Imagine I got done saying this and then bam, tomahawk. Straight right here. If they did it like splitting my face like this, that'd be epic. Look at him sitting there all smug. Yeah, yeah. He thinks he's the man of the house. I'll fuck him up. I'll, I'll, I'll beat the fuck out of him. I won't, I won't, I won't allow this. No, I'm just kidding. That's like animal cruelty. 
Well, we sponsored Arsenal for you. That was that's oh, great because I yeah, it's my childhood. So too. UFC is my yeah. childhood bread and butter. Like I'm getting the excitement that you probably have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. <laughs> the way we're moving, it's just yeah, bro. It's still the same. Yeah. Same year. Yeah. We, we launched ten months ago, dude. Prime is now the official sports drink of the year. Yes, I know. I'm so proud of you. That's so awesome. <laughs> we want you to do it. It's Prime. One, I, one time. Just one time, bro. So good. <laughs> Subscribers on YouTube, join the club. KSI left Prime. That's that's the video I'm watching. KSI is his his laugh is annoying. That's all I gotta say about KSI. But Logan Paul, he was they were chanting uh they were chanting uh fuck you kind of like uh let's go Brandon. Prime, I got it when I first went to travel for a painting job. I was going to be doing floors. Nope. But I bought Prime. I was sent back on my way the next day. But before that, I actually have clips of me, like, traveling through East Dubuque to find a skate park. I'm gonna show you the whole sequence, like, right now. Bro, they fucking have Prime here, bro. Bro, they got Prime. Oh my god. Hydration drink. Bro, they got the pre-made seed out here. Oh my god. Oh, wilderness. Wow, they made a seat just for me. Oh, I got too fat of an ass. Plank of wood led me to all of this wood look at this fucking stick bro fucking awesome i find it yo we made it to the skate park with the big ass stick you already know what i'm saying there's this cool ass dude over here doing some tricks and shit hell yeah no uh, the horseshoe toss look at this shit this shit's cool as fuck i and we back back at it i did not die I, in fact, made it to my place again. Look at this shit. I'm full of, oh, yeah. I'm about to go take a fat-ass nap. Yo, getting ready and shit. Now, I see this little cool-ass motherfucker. Look at those fucking stripes, boy. It's a moth. That motherfucker's alive, too. Look at Do something. Do something. Do something, little homie. I just saw you moving. Little homie, little dad. And I was just like... I'm just going to go walking. Like, no one's going to stop me. You're not going to stop me. Because I was with a guy named Brad. And he was an old, old crook. Oh, man. You know, you can do whatever, whatever you want, man. And I was just like, great. So I went out. I went out, went to go do a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. And then I got bored. And then eventually started asking people where to go. So I, I started out like on the outskirts of East Dubuque and made it to like the middle of it. And it was crazy cause it really nice houses, very nice scenery. I mean, the roads were just different to where I'm, I'm from. And they, they just were built different. I somehow found my way home, got home, got asked if I stole a beer from Brad, but yeah. It was fun talking to you guys today. You guys have a great day. If I could ask you, of course, I'd ask you, but I can't. I hope you guys have a, a, a well evening, to say the least. So, more content out tomorrow. Check it out, stay tuned. Weller was here, and we are now out of here. I'll catch y'all later.